before a big problem, we are given two choices. To cower and accept it, or to get revolted and confront it. How have you been reacting? How has your reaction been before this giant that arose in your life? God did not stop the giant Goliath from rising against Israel. There is no one single man willing to fight? Where is your honor, Hebrews? Where is the so-called God of Israel? God could only manifest his power when he found someone who, taken by courage and confidence, would fight with the weapons of faith. If a giant arises in your life, God is ready to take it down through your faith. And a good morning to all of you. Welcome to the Let There Be Light program. I hope that from wherever you are watching us in this morning, you may pay close attention to all the things that we'll talk about here because we are starting a new week. It's the beginning of a new week of work. And I'm sure that you have plans, you have things that you want to achieve and you have tried perhaps some of those things you have already tried to make it, make them happen. And for some reason, uh, sometimes even things that you are not counting on them, they, they let's say they are beyond your uh, uh, human capacity or even your human knowledge. And you just didn't, um, you, you were not able to make those good things happen in your life. But it's not time for you to give up. This is what I want to say to all of you. It's not time for you to give up. You cannot surrender to the feeling of failure. You cannot surrender to that feeling of uh, lost and even the feeling of being uh, feeling completely lost. Now what I'm going to do? And now what? This is what sometimes people, they say, and now what? I've lost my job, and now what? I lost my, 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 my business, and now what? I lost my car, and now what? So they don't know what to do. Stay with us because I want to give you a word from the Bible, which I'm sure that will help you. You can as well call at any moment if you want to use our helpline number is available for you. What's been keeping you up at night? Problems at work, bad news, arguments with your partner, discouragement. We're available to talk to you right now. Call us 9602-9837. We are now inside of a cave in the valley of Israel, one of the many caves that exists in this region near the biblical city of Ophel, where Gideon lived with the Israelites. And every year, the Midianites, they would come and they would destroy the land. They would steal all their cattle and they would leave Israel with no food. Can you imagine? You work hard all year round, preparing the ground, sowing the seed, taking care of what will be the food for yourself and for your family. And then the enemies come and they take everything and they threat to kill you. Life was a life of oppression in the time of Gideon. And when problems such as this comes, 
we either fight against it or we hide from it. And Gideon and the people of Israel, as it is written in the word of God, because of the Midianites, because of the presence of the enemies, they dug caves. Here is one of the caves. Imagine life down here. Imagine living a limited life, being inside of this cave. I, I, I've been here now for a few minutes and it's, it's very bad. The air is limited, the smell is horrible, and you have no pleasure in being here. But the people of Israel, they were used to this. They were accommodating themselves into this situation. They were tolerating what is intolerable. And the enemies, they were prevailing over their lives. Until the day that Gideon heard the word of God. And when he heard the word of God that came from the prophet, the word of God burned inside of him. And he said, I'm going to do something about it. And he decided to get out of the cave. And when he came out, God came to his encounter. And this is what God wants to do to you. He wants to come to you. He wants to direct your life in order to make of you a testimony such as Gideon's testimony. God wants to do something great. But we are here speaking and trying to raise the Gideon in you. Let's get out of the cave. This is your time. When we bring to you messages like this one, the video that you just saw, is exactly to explain in different words what you need to look at. Because if you do not have the right vision about your life, well, you end up making the wrong choices. Let me read to you this verse here from uh, Isaiah chapter 16 or 60, verse 5, when God said, uh, then you shall see and become radiant and your heart shall swell with joy. So this God was saying about an amazing uh, thing that would happen to these people. And once they see, they would see that, they would feel, they would become radiant and their hearts would uh, swell with joy. And then God continues saying, because the abundance of the sea shall turn to you, shall be turned to you. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you. So this is what God wants to do in the life of those who seek him, who seek his help, those who choose to trust in him, those who choose to understand God's will for their lives. You have your will, of course, you have your plans, but it's very important that you also know how to align your plans with God's plans. Otherwise, you will end up doing everything alone, even thinking that, and, and you may even think, why isn't God helping me? Because you are doing your things and they are not aligned with God's uh, plans for you. And God's plans are greater than yours. You can be sure of that. God's plans will never be less than yours. They are always greater than yours. And that's why today, Monday, in all our UCKG branches, we are praying for those who need to overcome a financial problem, a financial issue, financial difficulties. We pray and we ask God with faith for him to open your financial ways 
open financial and good doors for you as well. So you may, in, you may see your business growing, you may uh, improve in your job, you may um, have a, a pay rise, you may, for example, uh, solve some issues with some documents, some papers that you need to solve. Well, it's a day for those who need to see God's help in their financial, their professional life. So I invite you to join us either 10 a.m., 3 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. in one of our UCKG branches. The addresses, you will find them on our website, uckg.org.au. Welcome to the UCKG Help Center, where new life awaits you. Accepting and encouraging all to join and head towards a life of fulfillment and peace. Every day we hold four services, focusing on different matters to attend to the needs of all the areas of your life. The times of our services are 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. Monday, we focus on financial success, a faith-building meeting to offer support around financial issues and pathways to achieve personal goals. Our main headquarters is located at 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. Times and addresses do vary according to the location of the UCKG. If you would like more information, please contact us by calling 9602-9837. And you can also contact us on our website, www.uckg.org.au. You can also send us an email at help at uckg.org.au. You can like our page on Facebook and also on our YouTube channel, UCKG Australia, to keep you updated with the latest news. You never know when God will make something amazing in your life. But it starts inside of you, right there where you are. You can either accept the situation as part of your life, part of destiny, or you can just uh, say, well, I'm not willing to live like this anymore, so I will seek help in the one who can really bring me a solution. And that one is God. So you need to make a choice. And well, perhaps you have been accepting the situation, not that you are pleased with the situation, but you end up accepting that situation because you think there is no way out for you. And you end up and you say, well, this is how life is. This is how people are uh, uh, living. And you speak with others, other people who are going through the same issues as you are, or maybe their situation is even worse than yours. And you feel uh, that gives you a, I would say a, a sensation of, well, I'm not so bad as I thought I was because there are people worse than me. Yes, but there are people much better than you as well. Don't you think about that? It's not that you will compare yourself with those who are best, better or worst. No, you need to, to know what do you want. Is your life according to what you would like it to be? Yes, well, so keep it that way. It is not, if you say, no, Bishop, my life is not the way I would like it to be. So you have the opportunity to do something to change that situation. If you want to join us here in Liverpool, I will be with all of you at 10 a.m., 3 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. These three times today, three services, I'll be with you in the, all of them. 153 Northumberland Street is the address of our church here in Liverpool, close to the Westfield Shopping Centre. 153 Northumberland Street. Olive oil is a symbol of God's presence. And when it's used by faith, it can provoke powerful results. After applying the oil, within a week I was completely healed. 
and the doctors were shocked to see what happened because they were planning to amputate my leg. Because I had all these, thing, all these things to sell, no one was wanting to buy it. I went back the next day, I anointed everything. That night, everything was sold. My son had used the marijuana and he would become very aggressive all of a sudden and I was anointing him when he's sleeping. He's changed and he's now very good. He's respectful to me. I had a, a x-rays, ex examinations done, medications, but I was not healed. My wife introduced me to this blessed, blessed oil event. Today I'm free. I don't have any, any pain or any problem in my knee. Come to receive the blessed oil from Mount Sinai. And by faith, you too can see a miracle. On Sunday, September 8 at 10 a.m. at 153 Northumberland Street, Liverpool. For more locations, visit our website, uckg.org.au. 13 days are the number of days that we have left over till the day of the oil event. It's going to be indeed a very special Sunday morning, 8th of September, 10 a.m. in all our UCKG branches, Liverpool, Blacktown, Chatsu, Dandenong, Footscray, and Brisbane as well. And it's your opportunity because we give the oil, the blessed oil, only once per year. This year will be now in September. So what can you do with the oil? How can you use the oil? Well, you can use the oil in many ways. We already said here in this program a few ways that you can use to anoint yourself if you are sick, if you have pains, if you suffer from a mental issue, if you suffer from anxiety, if you suffer from... Uh, let's say depression, if you want to overcome an addiction, and it's difficult for you to do that, remember that every time that you use this oil, you are counting on God's power. You are showing that you do not rely only on your human strength or human resources, but you are relying on God's power. You count on His power. And God will see that. And of course, he will uh, reward you because of that faith. And he will reward you with the miracle that you need. My friend, you cannot lose this opportunity. And stop saying, oh, that's not for me. Yes, it is for you. It is for you. It is for you who say that's not for me. And you know why it is for you? Because you need, because you are you, you, you are with problems. You need help. And you know that. You have tried many things and nothing worked. So you need this. So I invite you to join us on the day. You do not have to pay nothing for to receive the oil or for the prayers because we as well will make several prayers for everyone on the day. You don't have to pay nothing at all. You just, you just need to come and then you will receive a small bottle similar to this one with that blessed oil. Remember, 8 September, 10 a.m. in all our UCKG branches in Australia. May God bless all of you. Have a wonderful day. Tomorrow, same time, I'll be back with the Let There Be Light program. See you tomorrow. The problem I have is my bladder. I have bladder problem for a long time. And when I went to the doctor, they said that I have too much protein in the urine. So they sent me for test, and the tests all have been done. They give me medication for it. Nothing helped. You see, the problem was that I have to go to the toilet every night, maybe for 10, 15 times. So I have disturbing sleep as well. But after I treated it with the holy oil and the prayers and the holy water, now I have no problems at all anymore. I'm completely healed. The doctor still ask, how is it? And I'm saying, no problem, no problem. And they think that it heals because of the, of the medication. I said, no, I don't take any medication at all.
Univer video, a road content of faith at the palm of your hand. Here we are going to teach you how to subscribe to the plans available so that you can access www.univervideo.com. Here you are going to select the plans and for $5.21, you can get two screens at once. And for $6.59, you can get four screens at once. Now you press subscribe, insert now your location, followed by your phone number. After that, we are going to go to the payment method. So there, we have the options to add your card. So first, you type your name, second box, your card number, the expiry date, and the CVV. And after you complete this, you are ready to go. And once this is done, you can sign in again. And that's it. You are ready to explore a vast content of faith. Now, if you have an Android platform, or if you have an Apple device, you can also search for the app Univer Video. And so for this, you follow the same steps to subscribe like we've showed you before. by typing in your email address, your name, your password. Your card details, and that's it. You are ready, set to go. And watch this great content that's going to build your faith. Enjoy.